Hi there, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to get SDL uh, set up with modern OpenGL and compile from the terminal on the Mac. Uh, so what you'll actually be creating is just a really simple SDL blank screen like this. Uh, I'll show another example with a triangle at the end. Uh, so what we need to do to get set up is we need the uh, command line tools from Apple uh, to get started. Uh, now I've already got them uh, installed, but you can do this and it'll take uh, some time to get installed. You can get Xcode. Uh, if you have Xcode, you should already be set up uh, from the command line. This gives us things like the Clang compiler uh, that we can use. Uh, the next thing we want to know is, you know, if we have a laptop within the last uh, decade or so, that it supports OpenGL. So I've got a 2011 machine uh, with at least OpenGL 3.3. Uh, if I want to search by sort of GPU, I can go to uh, the different displays here. I've actually got a uh, HD Graphics 3000 with 384 megabytes of video RAM. Um, and this version again, 3.3 modern OpenGL, we're ready to go. Uh, now I can query this string uh, programmatically if I want through the program GLX info. Uh, if I run it, it gives me a lot of information. Uh, so let's grep through it for the version. Uh, and I will notice it's only going to report back uh, 2.1 on the Mac, uh, so I have to explicitly uh, set this in my program. Okay, uh, So this, this website still is uh, accurate. And if I look at most of these versions, uh, 4.1, 3.3, you know, it's all uh, modern OpenGL stuff. So we can safely you know, program and target a lot of machines. Uh, if this glx info uh, command isn't on your machine, you can try going to install xquartz uh, and install those tools there to get glx info. Uh, otherwise, there's other ways to um, get that tool as well. Uh, and again, uh, just for information purposes, I'm running this on macOS uh, High Sierra, uh, the latest version at the time of this uh, recording. Uh, now, so getting set up with SDL, to do so, go to the SDL website uh, to uh, Downloads 2.0, download the uh, version 2 uh, or later. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I've already got it installed, uh, but it'll take a minute to download. Uh, this DMG I will then extract and give it about a moment or two. And once it's finished extracting, uh, extracting, I'll get this uh, framework file here. Uh, now what I want to do with this framework, uh, in Mac, frameworks are essentially uh, like Windows has DLLs, uh, Linux has SO files. It's a shared uh, library and it has all the sort of contents uh, packaged within it. Uh, so if I actually open up my finder and hit Shift Command G, uh, I will go to the library slash frameworks file, so however you can navigate there. And it'll show all of my frameworks here. I've already got SDL2, but we can see inside it there's headers, resources, uh, all of SDLs um, packed in here. Okay, uh, So I'll just drag this over. I would overwrite uh, this file. It might ask me to authenticate or anything like that. Just click OK, uh, and you can move on. Okay, so if you've gotten that far, then you're set up with SDL. But we want to use modern SDL um, with modern OpenGL in most cases. So to do this, I'm going to search for uh, GLAD, which handles uh, extensions for us in OpenGL. Uh, now these extensions are things um, that give us more functionality. Okay. So I'm going to navigate here, uh, download this library. Um, the GLAD one's pretty cool because I can choose what version of OpenGL I want to support. Uh, you might want to do the latest one. I'm doing 3.3. Uh, and so here's all the cool effects um, different graphics card vendors uh, support. OK, uh, so I'm just going to add all of them uh, and generate uh, these files. Uh, now, what it actually generated was an include, a source, and an all of this zip dump. Uh, so in the source is the GLAD file. 
uh, and I'll show where that is uh, on my machine in the equivalent source um, and then the glad file, which consists essentially of a bunch of auto-generated uh, function pointers here. Okay, so nothing too crazy. Uh, and then likewise, the include directory consists of the glad uh, header files. Uh, so again, I'll show where that is. And I'm mirroring the directory structure in my include uh, glad, and I've got the uh, glad header, uh, which has a bunch of uh, information. Okay, so now we can use uh, modern OpenGL. So you can download this uh, file or generate your own or whatever. Um, and actually have a, a permanent link to your configuration. Okay, so I don't want to spend too much time uh, more on that stuff, but I do want to uh, run from the terminal uh, our program. Uh, I wrote a little script uh, to do it. Uh, but it's going to give me the magic uh, command line that I need to run a SVL. So here's my compiler, Clang. Uh, I pass in uh, a flag uh, to say I'm building for Mac. Uh, the output name of this executable is lab, so I can just run lab like so. And then I need to include, uh, well, my include folder, which contains things like the glad folder. Uh, I need to include my uh, headers, which are in the library frameworks, SDL2 framework headers directory. Uh, and then I need to include, uh, compile my source files, which is my lab CPP. Uh, and then I also have my glad.c file there. Uh, and then finally, I need to tell uh, the compiler where my frameworks libraries are, what directories they're in. Uh, so that's what I do with capital F. And then the specific framework that I'm using, which is SDL2. Okay. Um, one little note on the source: um, if you've installed it like I have, um, you can uh, you know, write a little file uh, for Mac. I found that I had to include SDL uh, like such uh, on Linux and other platforms. Um, I had to uh, the package manager installed it in SDL2. Uh, directory. So watch out for that if you have errors. Uh, and then that dash D in the compile uh, line was basically for this if that. So you, you might not need that if you're only writing uh, Mac applications. Uh, and that's it. I have other videos on compiling for different platforms for Windows and Linux, uh, so you can check those out.